Hey everyone, Dukeboy YT here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the new Marvel Legends 5 pack with the Spider-Man Ultimate logo that they revealed at the Marvel Legends fan stream for Hasbro Pulse. So, as you can see here, it's an Amazon exclusive. Oh my god, why are, why is everything that they reveal now? Okay, not everything, but why have the past two uh packs been amazon exclusives like why can't you just make a regular pack that you're just gonna sell in stores maybe maybe on hasper pulse i don't know that i mean this is where all of your stuff comes from so i would assume you know you would try to use the website more for especially packs like these but i guess all right whatever that's not the that 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 is not the point i want to talk about today what i want to talk about is the interesting uh, selection of characters they picked for this pack. So let's just go back a bit. And here we are. So the first trigger we have is Silverman. Uh, I like Silverman. He's very cool. Um, he was also in the PS4 game that I played a while back. Um, well, no, he wasn't. It was, it was Hammerhead. Okay, whatever. Silverman's a Spider-Man villain. There you go. So... Then we have Fly, also a Spider-Man villain. Uh, not one that I was familiar with until recently. They revealed him like, oh, he's a he's an old Spider-Man villain. Yeah, he's he's cool and he's all that. So I was like, oh well. Um, I, I guess he looks nice. I mean, he's he kind of reminds me of Beetle, so kinda kind of has that similarity. Then for the third figure, we have Symbiote Spider-Man. From the Ultimate Comics. That, that was very hype. Before it was revealed that it was going to be a 5 pack. <laughs> Alright, let me just uh, explain myself before I get there. I I like 5... I, I mean, I like packs. I like packs that Marvel Legends reveals. I like the... What was it? Uh, it was the... Um, Mr. Negative pack. Yeah, Mr. Negative. It was the two-pack that Marvel Legends also revealed. Uh, the Mr. Negative uh, and um, Army Builder pack that um, that they revealed for GameStop exclusive. Tippity. Okay. It's a GameStop exclusive that they revealed, and I'm excited to see that. So I'm excited about packs. I like packs. But there is a certain point where it gets, it gets tiring, where every figure... Not every figure, but the figures that people want to buy, and it's a it's a company, so obviously they're gonna they're gonna pull out the tactics that people don't like because it makes them the most money and it it helps grow their business. So no wonder they decided to stop using plastic boxes and start using cardboard because it's good for the environment. Isn't cardboard fl flammable? I might be dumb here, but isn't cardboard flammable? So, isn't... If you don't want... It to, I think plastic would be better. I mean, sure, it, plastic ends up in the ocean, but... You can't stop other people from throwing cardboard in the ocean. What's up with that? What? what I don't know. It's it's a it's a weird thing with, with, some, with some of the things that Marvel Legends does. Especially this. They, re they reveal good figures, like... Symbiote Suit Spider-Man from Ultimate. I love Ultimate. I don't know if mo most of you know this, but I love Ultimate. It's a nice... It's a nice uh, show. I'm talking about the show, not the comics. I've, I've, I haven't read the comics. I know about the comics, but I haven't read them. So that's cool. I like the show. And that is a very good adaptation of the suit that he has from the series, I think. I think it's from the series. Maybe it might be from the comics, but um, they also have this other guy. I don't even remember his name. I'm gonna be honest. He looks like the Wildebeest. Probably a really obscure figure. I mean, obscure character. Some of you might not even know. So we're just gonna ignore him. Act like he's not there. So then after that, at the end, we have Molten Man, which is basically just Human Torch but yellow. He kind of remind me. He kind of reminds me of a Chio. And uh. Yeah, he's all right. Not nothing too special. Not really. Not really my. Uh, 
not really my like my highlight here, but it's nice to see him finally. So the two people, the two figures in this uh, five pack that people are probably gonna only care about are Silverman and Simbiotsuit Spider Man. Obviously, those are the two new um, wanted figures that people have wanted from Spider Man. So that's gonna be cool. But I have a theory here. I have a theory. I feel like Marvel Legends made all five of these figures and they were going to put them in a wave. I feel like they were going to put them in a wave, but for some reason, I don't know why, but they were already, I, I they, they, they definitely were already working on the, uh, Disney plus figures. And I don't, I, I don't know if, um, I don't know. Okay. Let me just finish talking. So, I have a feeling that they have some sort of contract with Disney, obviously. But um, I feel like they had like some sort of like time constraint where they had to make the uh, Disney Plus uh, figures. They had to make the Disney Plus figures before like the shows became irrelevant. I don't know. And they were already making the figures, and they didn't know what to do with any of these five figures. So they were like, well, all right, well, what are we going to do, guys? Um, all right. Think, think of some ideas. Think of some ideas. All right. Five pack. Five pack? Yeah, why not? Just throw them all into a five pack. A random assortment of Spider-Man villains. Just throw them into a random five pack. <laughs> I'm going on a weird tangent here, but... Uh, it, it just... It, it kind of pains me. Because... I... Uh, I, I, I like... I like all of these... All, all of these um, Spider-Man villains. I like them. Well, the ones I remember, <laughs> so I like I like them. It, they're they're nice. They're nice to see little obscure characters, c cartoony, mostly obscure. But um, I like seeing them. I like seeing them. But the ones that I want to get, the ones that I that I am looking forward to. I have to buy the ones I don't want to. Also, combined with the ones I want, and that's a company's way of making you pay for everything even though you don't want everything so i don't even know why i made this video i i just want i just wanted to get my thoughts out about this new five pack because i'm i don't know it feels like every everything that like comes out that i'm like excited about or just interested in it just turns out to be like a a pack or some sort of exclusive that they just, I don't know what, why they do that. Like the, the noir figure that I that um that I saw earlier this year um is a is a Target exclusive. Why is it a Target exclusive? I, why the Target is one? It's one of the, oh my god! I I hear I hear bad stuff about Target all the time. Their website, how they don't restock the online shop. Oh my god! It's just it pains me. It pains me. And I'm I'm tired of. I'm I'm tired of the exclusivity. Just put it on Hasbro Pulse. Oh my God, why? You will never see a uh, I I don't know. Maybe in Canada, Canada. I don't know. I I I will not see a noir figure in Target. I will not see that figure in Target because of the bad, the bad uh partnership between their online store and their physical store. So, just get your crap together, Marvel Legends. Get your crap together. Get get it together, man. All right, well, that's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, this little rant. I think I think I just need to get my thoughts out here. I need to blow off some I need to blow off some steam. I I, I need to. Just it's annoying. It's annoying. I I really I really want them to make Spider-Man figures that aren't part of aren't part of packs. I I like the I I like the 3-pack Venom that we got for the Life Foundation, it was cool. I, I liked it. The Venom especially is very nice. Very nice. But that price. Same price as the No Way Home, I think. Same price as the No Way Home 3 pack. It's all of the Spider-Man packs. Every Spider-Man figure we've gotten so far is like a pack or some, some, some crap like that. So I don't know. Get it together, man. All right, well, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably another stop motion. I'm still working on that on that on that project. 
and you pro you guys probably already know what it is, so I won't even say it. <laughs> See you guys soon. Peace out and bye bye.